And hello there, Paul Cashmere. Today's music fix from undercover.com.au. Well, you heard it here first, folks, and it is now official. The new ACDC album will be called Black Ice, and it will be out on October 18 in Australia and on the 20th in the USA. We will be hearing the first single from the album, Rock and Roll Train, later this month, and a world tour will begin in Wooks Bar, Pennsylvania, at the end of October. Do a YouTube search for U2's Sexy Boots. Well, you won't find the original version there, but there are dozens of fan-recorded versions with the riff from the song. If you believe the story, it was a leak. Well, we all know that not to be the case. The story goes that Bono was playing it loud outside of his house in France and he had the window open. The fan was outside, heard the thing, filmed it, recorded it, put it up on YouTube, ordered to take it down, but before then, you know, all these fans around the world had the chance to record their own versions and that's what's up on YouTube at the moment. A leak, a very well-planned publicity stunt, I can tell you. Now here's complete lunacy for you. EMI Records, now owned by a company called Terra Firma, is suing the band 30 Seconds to Mars for $30 million because they won't renegotiate their new contract. 30 Seconds to Mars album sold around 2 million copies worldwide and earned Terra Firma more than $20 million in revenues. Yet the band has not seen one cent of royalties from their sales. This is a great example of, you know, why the major record labels are obsolete in the 21st century. Terra Firma claim they have the new industry model. Yes, the new model. Uh, obviously, that's based on suing their acts. Missy Higgins has been mentioned in a Harlan Coburn novel. Hold tight. Harlan tells Undercover that he discovered Missy after a friend sent him the song Where I Stood. He now gives out the album The Sound of White, Missy's album, as gifts to friends when they have babies. Missy tells Undercover that her auntie is a Harlan fan and nearly fell off a chair when she read the reference to a niece in the book. Hold Tight is now out on hardback and will be released in paperback in October. Paul Weller is touring Australia for the first time in 23 years and this is a must-see show. You'll get the Jams Eaten Rifles in a town called Malice. He also does the old style council hit Shout to the Top. That's about it for the oldies. It's not a golden oldie show. It's uh, pretty heavily based on the new album 22 Dreams and his nine solo works. But do see him when he is in your town. It's a great show. And finally today, following an injury received while attending last week's International AIDS Conference in Mexico, Annie Lennox underwent spinal surgery to release an imping nerve. The surgery has gone as planned and Annie is now recuperating at home. Her upcoming Greatest Hits album will now be released next year to allow time to get well so she can promote the record. And that's all for today from me, Paul Cashmere, and you can find out more about these stories and others today at undercover.com.au.